All right, team, today we're gonna learn the belt squat. Now, not everyone's lucky enough to have a cool machine like this, but first I'm gonna show you how to use this machine and do the belt squat properly. And then we'll go on to a couple at home variations that you can do, um, you know, without this equipment, just do any old regular gym or home gym. Um, but this is gonna be definitely your best option because we can load up the weight and the other options won't be as good because you won't be able to go as heavy. But for now, I'm gonna show you this belt squat machine. So we're gonna put on our belt, clip through here, and then we're gonna clip through the hole, okay? Now, some belt squat machines are not um, made very well, and you might have to stack some mats on here or a plate so that you, if you're a shorter person, but for now, we're gonna stand up. You're gonna usually have some kind of locking mechanism. We're gonna unlock, all right? And from here, what we're gonna do is really, really sit back and then push up. A lot of times they'll have handles here, but I don't want you to be pulling yourself up like this. Still have a neutral spine, stay nice and tight. You should be able to do this without even holding on here. Again, we're going to try to avoid turning this into a good morning and sit back and squat at the top. You can totally lock out or sometimes you can work on keeping the tension in your legs. We have to make sure we're not staying way back here and we are finishing that rep. And then you're going to lock the mechanism, put it down and unclip. All right, team, so I'm gonna show you a different variation of the belt squat you can do at home. So all I have here is a regular dip belt. You'll find this somewhere in the, a dusty corner in your gym. But I also have two blocks of the same height. You can also stack bumper plates. What I'm gonna do here is come in, you can keep one foot off. The good thing about this dip belt is we can uh, adjust the chain, make it shorter or longer, depending on how high we are. I also like to prop this up so I don't have to stand it up as much like this. Try to make it kind of short. All right, be careful, you stand up. And now from here, we're gonna step on the box. You're gonna look really, really cool doing this. Um, but the benefits are worth the ridiculousness. So we're sitting up here and we're just gonna squat. You're gonna have to balance. Now, a little tip is you can set this up in the middle of a rack so that you're able to hold on to the rack um, like so, um, or have a buddy spotting you. But with this version, we can't go as heavy of weight. I have actually used multiple kettlebells, but it's just harder to start the movement because you kind of have to deadlift it up. All right, you sit back. The require a little more stability because the weight is swinging. So just be very careful here. And when you're done, step down, bring it down, and then you can unclip. Hey team, this is the last belt squat variation we're gonna do today. Um, it is a little bit less convenient. Um, isn't always that the case. We have our landmine right here. You can also put a barbell against the wall. Um, but this is definitely going to be a lot more steady. What we're going to do is have two boxes of the same height side by side, or we can stack bumper plates here. You're going to have your weight on the end right here, and you're going to be facing out from the landmine. All right, from here, you're going to come under and clip in. Now, sometimes it's easier if you have someone to help you pull this up as you, as you stand up. Um, but good news is it's a little bit more stable than the last variation we did. Step up, and we're gonna squat. We're done, step down, be careful. And then just unclip. 